The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. The mad scientist has one solution that is 30% acid and another that's 18% acid. How much of each should he use to get 300 liters of a solution that's 21% acid. Well, let's start things off by setting up a chart. Across the top, we have our mixture formula, which in this case is amount of solution times percent acid equals amount of acid. Down the left side, we have our two different types of solutions that add to our final mixture. So for our amount of solution column, we know that we have 300 liters in our final mixture. So we can split up the amount of solution for each of our original solutions as x and 300 minus x. For our percent acid column, we have 30 percent, which is 0.30 or 0.3, 18%, which is 0.18, and we know that our mixture is 21% acid, or 0.21. Based on our formula, we now multiply the first two columns together to fill out the third column of the chart, and we have 0.3x, 0.18, times parentheses 300 minus x and 300 times 0.21 which is 63. For our equation we use the idea that the amount of acid in each of our solutions will add to the amount of acid in our final mixture. So that's 0.3x plus 0.18 times 300 minus x equals 63. Solving from here, I would first multiply both sides of the equation by 100 to get rid of the decimals, and eventually we find that x equals 75. Going back to our chart, X represents the amount of 30% solution that we have. So we know we have 75 liters of 30% solution. For our 18% solution, we have 300 minus X, or 300 minus 75, which is 225 liters of 18% solution.